Hello, thank you for your interest in our article, which is titled The Relationship Between Dysphagia, Lower Esophageal Sphincter Relaxation, and Esophagogastric Junction Distensibility. In this paper, we studied 79 patients whom had a diagnosis of achalasia or EGJ outflow obstruction. And we compared the various measures of EGJ opening on high resolution manometry and functional lumen imaging probe topography. We wanted to know what the relationship between these various metrics is, and also what the relationship between these metrics and dysphagia severity um, is. What we found was interesting. We found that the metrics do not correlate well with each other, specifically the uh, distensibility measured on endoflip does not correlate well uh, with high resolution manometric measures of IRP and baseline lower esophageal sphincter pressure. And what we found also was that the endoflip distensibility uh, had the strongest correlation with dysphagia severity. To us, this has two implications. The first being that the endoflip distensibility seems to be measuring uh, differential components of the EGJ that are not necessarily captured by uh, high resolution manometric measures of the EGJ. And two, that uh, the distensibility on FLIP uh, is measuring properties of the EGJ, EGJ that are relevant towards generation of dysphagia. Um, we thought these findings are very exciting, and we think that um, this definitely merits further study into what the precise components of the FLIP EGJ distensibility are. Thank you.